Welcome to Hopper.tv. Funke Olakori, 58 year old, the daughter of the leader of the Pan Yoruba Social Cultural Organization, Afeni Ferry, Chief Ruben Fasonrati. Funke Olakori was shot dead by gunmen suspected to be kidnappers in Ore headquarters of Odigbo local government area of Ondo State. According to the report, Mrs. Olakori was heading for Akure from Lagos when gunmen suspected to be earthmen attacked her on Bini Ore Road. If you're just joining in, kindly take a moment to tap on that subscription button and also the red notification icon bell below so you will be notified whenever videos are uploaded. The report is that the woman was assailed in a vehicle by the earthmen who blocked the Kajola Ore Road and fired shots sporadically. Mr. Joseph the spokesperson for the Ondo State Police Command said Mrs. Ola Kure was the only one killed. He said three vehicles, including a luxurious bus belonging to Young Shagro Motors, were attacked by the kidnappers. According to him, travelers inside the bus were heading from Imo State to Lagos. According to the police, the kidnappers were 16 in numbers and they ambushed three vehicles at Kajola in Ore. The three vehicles were said to be going to Lagos and they were all attacked by this gunman. The gunman shot at one Mrs. Funke Olakore and she was confirmed dead immediately. Police said they were on the trail of the kidnappers. Meanwhile, the Undo state governor, Rotimi Akiridolu, has condemned the killings of Mrs. Olakore. Yinka Odumaki, spokesperson for Afeni Ferris, the killings of Mrs. Funke Olakore is a declaration of war on Yoruba people. Odumaki said Edsman attacked and killed Mrs. Olakore, daughter of Pariuben Fasorati. Odumaki said when they started with the kidnapping process, they started with Olu Falai, a prominent leader in Akure. Whether deliberately or intentionally, this is clearly a declaration of war on the Yoruba. They shall hear from the Yoruba nation. He also condemned the insistent attacks of Edsman in the southwestern part of Nigeria. Narrating how the attack happened, Odumaki said, Yes, Mrs. Funke Olarikuri, 58-year-old daughter of leader of Afeni Ferry, was coming from Akure this morning Friday to Lagos when she got to Ore. Shortly as she was about to eat the express, Fulani Earthmen emerged from the bush, started shooting at her car. Maybe they wanted to kidnap her or not, shot at her and she died from gunshot wounds while her maid who was with her in the car sustained gunshot injury. The Afeni Ferry spokesperson stated, that the group would not take the killing lightly, that they would only signal an end to the terror reign of earthmen in the region. The people will hear from us, he said. They started with Olufalai. They macheted him, kept him in the bush for four days before Undo state government paid ransom to get Olufalai out. With this, this is the beginning of the end of their kidnap in Yoruba land. Do you agree to this if you are if you're from the eastern part of Nigeria and also from the western part of Nigeria? It seems this is getting too much let me read out some of the tweets from prominent nigerians popular nigerians people you know here is reno mockery he said i am in shock s men have killed the daughter of the leader of afeni ferry question mark who is safe in nigeria do we have a government shot in broad daylight by hertz men may general muhammad buhari ruga perish never 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 Nigerians must stop dying for Earthmen or Nigeria. Femi Fani Kayode. I have just spoken to my brother Yinka Odumake, and he has confirmed to me that the daughter of our home of her very own Baba Fasonrati, the leader of Afeniferi, was slaughtered by Fulani Earthmen in Ore today. This is the final straw. The Yoruba must act now. We must defend our people. And of course, Atiko also tweeted, I condemn in the strongest possible terms the killing of Mrs. Funke Olakuri, daughter of Chief Ruben Fasonrati, the chairman of Afeni Ferry. This is one death too many. And he also went on his Facebook to say more. I condemn in the strongest possible terms the killing of Mrs. Funke Olakuri, daughter of Chief Ruben Fasonrati, the chairman of Afeni Ferry. This is one day too many. I call on the security services to initiate speedy and thorough investigations to bring our killers to book and stem the epidemic of insecurity in our land. My prayers and deep compassion 
go to Chief Ruben Fasoranti, his family and the entire membership of Afeni Ferry. My family and I stand shoulder to shoulder with you at this trying time, even as we pray for the repose of Mrs. Funke Olakunri. So peace must return to Nigeria by every means possible. Enough of this. And he has a lot to say. Now, what do you think about this? Do you think because this is kidnap or killing of a high profile um, personality in Nigeria? What about other people that have been killed that nobody knows about or kidnapped by these bandits? Now, some might say Aousa Fulani are not the only kidnappers. That kidnapping started from a specific part of Nigeria before it spread down to all of these criminals that we see right now, to all the other regions. What's your, what's your solution to this? Let's meet in the comment section below. And while you're at that, may I kindly remind you to tap on that subscription button and also the red notification icon bell below so you will be notified whenever videos are uploaded. Thanks for stopping by.